Welcome to this deep dive session, which looks at how to get verified for implementing the criteria of the hotel sustainability basics. Also present at this session is Laura Morello, Content Program Coordinator at WTTC, and Inge Hoibretz, Global Senior Vice President of Sustainability, Security, and Corporate Communications at Radisson Hotel Group. But let's first introduce the hotel sustainability basics. The travel and tourism sector is taking important steps towards greater sustainability and net zero operations. Yet, many hotels and properties continue to face important challenges in starting their sustainability journeys, often due to financial and human resource constraints. It is vital to support and empower these stakeholders to embark on their sustainability journeys in an aligned and strategic manner. The global hotel industry has come together to identify the first crucial steps that all properties can and should take, irrespective of their size, resources, and progress made so far, thereby raising the base level of sustainability across the entire industry. But why is it so important to establish a common path to set basic standards of sustainability across the sector? Well, first, this is now a ethical imperative. Ultimately, we must become more sustainable to save our planet. But this is also a regulatory imperative. We are all aware that regulations will increasingly punish those who are not measuring, reporting or improving their sustainability performance. Let us all remember that this is also driven by consumer demand. Those that do not adapt will be left behind by competitors as consumer preferences pivot towards more sustainable options. And finally, let's talk about financial returns. Sustainability does not need to be expensive. Operational savings come from saving water and energy or reducing waste, for example. And sustainable technologies will soon become cheaper than fossil fuel driven technologies. The program will cover three years and address 12 criteria. These criteria have been divided into three categories efficiency, planet, and people. Eight of the criteria are to be completed in the first year with a minimum of one in each category. For the two consecutive years, you need to show progress and completion of the other four criteria. We will now have a look at the 12 criteria of hotel sustainability basics that need to be implemented in three years. Remember, in the first year, you can comply with eight, which minimum has to be one for the three pillars of efficiency, planet and people. So let's have a look at the 12 criteria. We are going to see in detail how you can comply with them. The first four indicators relate to efficiency. They require hotels to have robust approaches to measuring and reducing their energy, their water consumption, their waste and their carbon emissions. These are quite common criteria across all the best practices, frameworks and standards, and they are an essential part starting point for your hotel sustainability journey. For the first efficiency criterion, energy consumption needs to be measured and actions need to be taken to reduce that consumption. So you will need to measure your consumption in accordance with industry standards and methodologies. The verification process contains two templates to this aim. Template one, which is there to register your consumption, and template two, which is for your action plan. And you can see a screenshot here of those templates. In template one, you register your monthly total energy consumption data and also your energy consumption per occupied room. That's your total consumption divided by the number of rooms sold in that month. Now the verifiers, they will need to see and cross check that the data you entered is correct. So you will also have to upload two invoices for your energy consumption, matching the data that you have entered for two different months. Of course, in case you have quarterly consumption registration and quarterly invoices, you can enter the data per quarter. You have to fill out your consumption data in one of the months of the quarter 
and you will have to attach invoices for at least two quarters. Once you have completed template one for consumption registration, you will need to go to template two, which is the template for action plans. So first, you will need to add your three energy reduction actions here with, for each action, the person responsible, the deadline, and the result you want to achieve. It's important to know that from the three actions, a maximum of two can be completed already in the past period, and one needs to be a new one that you are planning. Now, this process applies for all the reduction and engagement plans that you will have to enter for the basics verification. So it's the same process for energy, water, waste, and carbon emissions, but also for your plan for community benefits and for the reduction of inequalities in the people section. The second criterion is measure and reduce water use which is all about reporting how much water your hotel uses to operate and aiming to set actions to reduce that consumption. This will need to be measured in accordance with industry standards and methodologies. For instance, the Hotel Water Measurement Initiative, available via the Sustainable Hospitality Alliance website, offers metrics and a methodology to measure water usage. You will be provided with two templates. Template one is to record your consumption and template two is for your action plan. First, focus on completing template one, where you will need to add your total water consumption and the water consumption per occupied room, either monthly or quarterly. Please note that you will need to submit two monthly or quarterly invoices of two different months or quarters for the verifier to cross-check the data you have entered in template one. Then you can move to template two and look at your reduction plan. You will need to list each of the actions you are considering, indicating their deadline to track if this is an action that is planned, in progress or completed, uh, the person that is responsible, and finally, the goals you aim to achieve. Now we will look at identifying and reducing waste. This is the third criterion of the efficiency section. For this criterion, waste needs to be identified and actions need to be taken to reduce the waste. You will need to identify all types of waste streams produced in your hotel. In template one, you again, in the right tab, you can identify these waste streams and you can estimate their importance, how much of that waste you are having in your hotel. Template two is for your action plan. So the registration of waste focuses on identifying the different waste streams, the estimated share in percentage compared to your total waste, and the consumption per month, which is registered in weight or in percentages. Then you will need to go to template two to complete your reduction plan. Again, you need to enter a minimum of three actions, who is responsible, what is the deadline, and what is the impact of this action. As a reminder, you will, from the three actions, you have to have one that you are still planning and a maximum of two that is completed. Of course, you can also think forward and enter three actions that are completely new. For the fourth criterion, the carbon emissions need to be measured and actions need to be taken to reduce that consumption. The Hotel Carbon Measurement Initiative, or HCMI, is available via the Sustainable Hospitality Alliance website and offers metrics and a methodology for measuring the carbon emitted. You will need to complete template one, where you will need to add your yearly carbon footprint following the results of the HCMI tool. Important to note is that the results of the HCMI tool must be the same as the data you filled out in the template and submitted as proof. In template two, you will need to add your three carbon reduction actions, 
with the person responsible, name and surname, the deadline and the results you want to achieve with said action. For the carbon reduction action, you can fill out energy and water related reduction actions as they also reduce the carbon emitted. The planet section focuses on some of the fundamental actions to protect the environment in your hotel. These actions are impactful and part of the guest experiences. They are consumer facing and they are part of many frameworks and certifications. There are six criteria that sit within the planet section, so at least one needs to be followed. Remember, in your first year, you need to comply with minimum eight criteria of all the 12. The first planet criteria is the linen reuse program. Here, for this criterion, you will need to upload a set of proofs. So linen reuse means that the sheets, the bed linen, will be used for more than one night unless indicated otherwise by the guest. To implement this program, you will need to have a standard operating procedure. So what you need to do as a first step is to upload the SOP, the standard operating procedure document of your linen reuse program. Then you will also need to upload the sign of how you communicate this program to the guest. This, of course, can be communicated with a card or a hanger or another innovative digital way of communicating. You will have to upload a picture or a copy of your way of communicating this procedure to the guests. In case that you do not communicate it and that you just apply the SOP, you will have to upload the copy of your SOP, your standard operating procedure. Criterion number six is green cleaning products. To report on this, you will need to work on template one using the tab about cleaning products. You need to list all the cleaning products used daily at your establishment, the amount, and indicate how many of these have an eco label. Check out all recognized eco labels at the index located at the top of template one or by following the link on this slide. Remember that photos and invoices of the green cleaning products are needed as proof. Please make sure that invoices clearly refer to the eco labels. Moving on to the third criterion in the planet section, which is vegetarian food and beverage options. This criterion says that you need to provide vegetarian options in every outlet and in every menu section. So in the starters, the main courses, the desserts, in every restaurant and in every occasion for breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks, etc. In every element, there needs to be at least one vegetarian option. To prove this, you can attach photos of the menus of your various outlets. You need to indicate which are the vegetarian options, which normally should be indicated already as a communication to your guests. So for example, if you have three restaurants, three outlets in your hotel, each serving breakfast, lunch, dinner, and intermediate snacks, you will have to upload 12 different menus where all the vegetarian or vegan dishes are highlighted. Now, if you are a limited service hotel and in case you do not have any food and beverage outlets in the property, you will have to provide a communication to your guests where they can find restaurants that serve vegetarian food in the neighborhood of your hotel. For the eighth criterion, you will need to take out single-use plastics on the property. You can replace the straws and stirrers with sustainable alternatives, but it is best not to use alternatives in general. In case you make use of sustainable alternatives for the single-use plastic straws and stirrers, you will need to upload the invoices of the alternatives, as well as photos where the alternatives are being used. This can be served with drinks or at a station where you prepare the drinks. 
In case you don't make use of alternatives and thus have no photos or invoices to show, you will need to upload a declaration where this policy is communicated with a signature of the management. Another criterion of the planet section is the avoidance of using single-use plastic water bottles. So this criterion, to comply with it, you will need to take out all the single-use plastic water bottles on the property and make use of alternative water containers or recipients. These recipients can be glass bottles, carafes or dispensers. They can even be canned or boxed water. For the proof, you will need to upload photos of the alternatives that you are offering to the guests and indicate where in the guest experience these alternatives are provided. So for example, as you can see on the picture, this hotel is serving water in glass bottles. This is the in-room setup. You will also need to show what you're doing in restaurants, in a meeting and event section, etc. So for all the locations where you are serving water to your guests, it's important to show that you are not using single-use plastic water bottles. And you can demonstrate that by uploading photos and as you can see on the slide also, by uploading invoices of alternatives, purchase orders and invoices of alternatives. Criterion number 10 is called bulk amenity dispensers and refers to the containers used to reduce the amount of packaging, transportation and waste. Working on this criterion means you are eliminating plastic from your property or at least single use plastic. Replace the mini toiletries with bottles that are reusable in all rooms common restrooms and all the other places where this is applicable. In this case, you need to upload the invoices of the dispensers to prove you are using them as an alternative to the mini in-room toiletry bottles. You also need to upload photos of bulk dispensers placed in bathrooms or all the other areas where guests, for example, can shower or wash their hands. So let's look at the people criteria. The people section focuses on actions that hotels should take to make a positive impact on the communities in which they are located. As each location and each hotel is unique in terms of their local community, the demographics, the infrastructure, the needs, these two criteria in the people section are deliberately broad in focus, and they provide flexibility for any type of hotel to identify where they can take action. Tangible progress and expansion of programs should be shown every year. And in the first year, at least one of the two criteria should be in place. So which are these criteria? The first one is called community benefit. For this criterion, you will need to fill out template two, where you add your action plan. As a reminder, in any action plan, at least one action should be a planned one, one that is coming in the future, and two can be completed. Of course, you can also have three actions that are new. So in template two, in your action plan, for community benefit, you need to provide a brief description of the community actions, the partners, and the number of participating employees in your actions. You also, as in any action plan, need to add the person who is responsible for the activity, the deadline, and the result you have or will be achieving with this action. For actions that are completed, you need to add photos of the initiatives. And if you have provided any kind of information about these activities to your guests, or maybe an invitation to participate, please attach that proof as well. 
So in short, the proofs can vary depending on the actions you have taken. So it can be documents showing that guests have been made aware of community actions. Guests have been asked to support community action. Proof showing that guest feedback is obtained and reviewed to improve the community action. Proof showing that a potential or the existing hotel partner organization, the charity, the NGO, the social enterprise, etc., are assessed on their suitability to be a partner and the credibility prior to the partnership. So it's important that you perform community actions with the right partners and that you prove that the partners you have chosen, that you have carefully evaluated them so that you work with the right and impactful, trustworthy local organizations. And then finally, you can also upload a document that shows that you have provided information about responsible, respectful tourism, human trafficking prevention, biodiversity preservation, etc., is given to the guest. And the last option is actually open to those hotels who may not have the time or the size of the team to contribute to the community. In that case, you can actually focus on promoting responsible and respectful tourism, biodiversity preservation, the right way to go diving, the right way to go snorkeling, or maybe even the contacts of guides you work with who focus on responsible tourism, who are local and they focus on responsible tourism. For the 12th criterion, you will have to identify best practices and implement initiatives to reduce inequalities in employment within the hotel team or in the broader community via supply, supply chain choices. To comply with this criterion, you will need to upload some proofs. These include template two with your action plan to reduce inequalities in the hotel or in the supply chain. Examples of suitable actions are hiring people from minorities, making management positions available to women, etc. In the case of supply chain, examples of suitable actions are sourcing locally rather than importing. Then, please describe the actions. Add the person responsible, completion date, desired results, and attach pictures of the initiatives that are being carried out. Copies of HR and procurement policy and internal memos where the team is briefed on the decision to reduce inequalities are needed for each action to back the actions filled out in template two. So join the Hotel Sustainability Basics program. The ball is really in your court to make your first steps on becoming a sustainable hotel, getting verified and being recognized for doing so. It's very easy to get started. You simply go to the Hotel Sustainability Basics page on the WTTC website, where you can enroll by filling out a few details. Then you will receive a link to select a verification plan and partner. Lastly, it's your turn to collect evidence of your sustainability basic practices to submit the documents and get verified with GreenKey or SGS. After that, you receive the basics logo and you will be able to show to your clients in your hotel and on booking platforms that you are a sustainable hotel. The WTTC website has a dedicated page where you can find further information about hotel sustainability basics. To kick off the verification process, fill in the form at the top of the page with the details of your property or organization. Select the official verifier available in your area and take the first step on your sustainability journey. Thank you and good luck.